What are the 10 strongest pals in a fight in Pal World? I'm going over all the big hitters and taking a look at the pals base stats which can determine the maximum stats for your pals. I already covered the best pals you can get excluding legendary pals as they were tough to get in a previous video but I'm going to go over all of them in this one. Now the intrinsic values are not fully known or understood yet but we do know from data mining the initial base stats of all the pals and so we don't need to know how it works exactly so long as we can tell the difference between one pal and another. Obviously these stats will vary between two of the same pal but a Lamol for example will never be as strong as a Jetragon as it just has higher base stats and so if it has higher base stats it will be higher when it's later in the game. Let's take a look at the best pal for every type. The best normal pal is Palladius. Caught in the desert at level 50, he is only found as a boss fight and is one of only 5 legend pals in the game. You can see here a list of moves he will learn and his base stats as well. Now compared to the other pals he's in the top 10 and ranks number 1 for defensive stats. A quick note on the stats page here is that there are two types of attack, melee and shot or long range. And what constitutes what type of attack is unknown, but based on the move sets, I'm assuming that the move with a range of 0 is the melee one, and the rest of them are based on shot damage. But I'm not 100% sure if that's accurate. Also, these stats will combine for your attack on the attack stat on your pal when you look at them in your team, but there are actually two individual stats. Also, every pal, even Lamol, will learn a move that has a power of 150, and you can see all of his moves that he will learn here. Of course, you can teach your pals other moves as well. These are just the ones you will get from leveling up. Lastly, different moves have different cooldown times, and you can see that also. The next best pals then, two of them which are about equal, Jormantide Ignis and Blazimut. Both are the best fire type pals and are found in the game's wildlife sanctuaries, one on number 3, one on number 2. They have similar stats, but Jormantide has higher health and Blazimut has higher melee attack. Both are good in a fight though. It's no surprise then that the best war pal is regular Jormantide. Fired as a boss fight, you can actually get him pretty easily as well by breeding two pals together like Pyrin and Menesting. In terms of stats, he has slightly less shot power than Jormantide Ignis, but he's still higher than any other water type pal. Orzerk is the best electric type pal in terms of pure damage. His other stats are a little bit lacking compared to the most pals on the list, but he's still better than the rest of the electric types, with the second closest probably being Grisbolt but Grisbolt is just lacking any good shot power to be really good. Or Zerk again is found in wildlife sanctuaries or you can breed him from eggs pretty easily by breeding a Rolaxosaurus and a Grisbolt. The strongest ground type is Anubis. Found as a boss or from breeding, he lacks in defensive stats but he has very good health and both physical and shot damage. There are some other decent ground types but in terms of pure damage Anubis is 100% on top. The best grass pal is Lyleen, another easy to get pal from breeding Mosanda and Petalia, or found as a world boss, or you can get it on Wildlife Sanctuary number 3. Not the strongest pal in the list, in fact probably ranks number 10 amongst all 10 of these, but there are no other pals that have good stats for grass types. There are definitely grass pals who have good stats, but individual stats are two good stats, but none of them have 3 or 4 good stats like Lyleen does, which is why she is on the list. Alright, the best ice pal is no surprise, it's Frostalion. Found only as a boss fight in the snowy mountains at the top of the map. He's joint second highest health and shot attack stats and decent other stats as well, making him one of the better pals in game. He's also a legend and that comes with good perks straight off the bat, so you don't have to breed him with anyone to get good passive skills. There are three equally good dark pals. Frostalion Noct, Necromis and Shadowbeak. Shadowbeak is a super good all-rounder and has joint second highest defense in game and has high attack and health, but he's also super easy to get late game, making him easy to breed as he's just a regular pal. Necromis is tough to get but he has the highest shot attack of any pal in pal world, so if you're looking for something just in terms of pure damage he is your guy. He also has pretty decent other stats as well. Frostalion Noct, you can catch Frostalion and breed it with Hell Zephyr to get Frostalion Noct, and its stats are incredibly strong. Coming in for second highest in shot attack, defense, and health, it's the best all-rounder you can get in-game, and any of these dark pals are good in a fight. 
Lastly, the best dragon type is of course Jetragon. His high shot attack, but the rest of his stats are not amazing compared to the rest of the legends. To be honest, he's closer to Lylenin or Zerk, but he does have the quickest mount, and he does have the ability to shoot rockets from his mount, which I guess makes up for the fact that he's lacking in some of the stats. So guys, there we have it, the strongest possible pals you can get in Pal World, and those are their stats and movesets. You just need to start breeding them to get the more powerful traits, and you can have the best possible team in game. I'm making another video right now showing you exactly how to get traits from breeding as well, so look out for that. If this video was helpful, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.